in the crossfire. An innocent woman is fighting for her life after being shot while driving down Poplar Avenue in East Memphis. Good evening, everyone, and thanks for joining us. I'm Katina Rankin. And I'm Richard Ransom. It's terrifying to hear about police say people in two cars were just shooting at each other near Poplar and White Station as witnesses were sitting on a coffee house patio looking on. Senior investigator Jenny DePrezio spoke to a witness and is live at the Appling Station precinct for us tonight. Yeah, and Jenny, I understand there's an arrest in this case already. Yeah, exactly. A 22-year-old man has been arrested, but police are looking for many more suspects in this shooting. I can tell you, we talked to a man who saw it all happen. All of a sudden, we hear like a loud popping sound. It sounded like a muffler, like a bad car, you know, something. Well, then we started hearing a lot more, you know, like a that, 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 you know, kind of sound. Richard Kraft and a friend were sitting on this patio at Poplar and White Station last night when the shooting took place. The shooters all drove away, but minutes later, Kraft says the injured woman walked up to the coffee shop. The Starbucks clerk had a, uh, I guess, an emergency medical kit, and he went out as a first responder and uh, cops showed up. Three other victims were shot at. Their cars hit, but they weren't injured. 22-year-old Marvin Lewis was charged with several counts of aggravated assault. He was arrested after he was dropped off at St. Francis Hospital with a gunshot wound. Memphis police are still looking for the others involved. This afternoon, crime scene investigators responded to the Linfield Place Apartments to determine if this car, marked with bullet holes, is connected to the shootout. As for Kraft, he's still trying to understand the gravity of what happened. It's definitely something I don't want to go through again, but Again, it happened so fast, I was just kind of like, oh, that kind of sucks. Thank goodness I didn't get hit. Now, a 24-year-old woman, the victim, she remains at Regional uh, 1 in critical condition. I'm sorry, in, intensive, in the intensive care unit. We will more have more on Lewis's uh, lengthy criminal history coming up tonight at 6. Live in Northeast Memphis, Jenny DiPrizio, Local 24 News.